I have a few final words to say as we continue showing these pictures here. I've been reading many of your tweets, been on Facebook, looking at some of your comments. And a number of you have been talking about shedding tears. A number of you have been saying uh, how you're going to miss this president, miss this first family, uh, how you uh, are sad to see them go. We understand that. Uh, we understand uh, what it means uh, historically to have uh, the first black uh, president, the first, uh, the first family being African-American in this country. And so we appreciate, we understand that, but let's be perfectly clear. Uh, we had Governor Douglas Wilder in Virginia. We had Governor Deval Patrick uh, in Massachusetts. We have seen African-American mayors all across this country. We've seen African-Americans uh, in significant positions uh, all across this nation. But what has happened is we have never, give, uh, we have never given up. This summer, when I talked about the coming, taking down the Confederate flag, actually, in 2016 in South Carolina, I said, I'm still not satisfied. For many of us, don't be satisfied with there being one black president. Do understand and believe there can be another. Do understand that we have a number of African Americans in this country who are in statewide office, who are in the United States Senate, who are in Congress, who potentially could be the next president of the United States. We have a young brother out there uh, who wants to be president because he has seen this president. There's a sister out there who says, one day, too, I can be president of the United States because of uh, Barack Obama. And so we must remember that. Our focus must be on how do we continue to be as a people striving forward. First slaves coming here in 1619. Then, of course, you go to the Emancipation Proclamation, 1863. Then we deal with the Reconstruction. Then we deal with the end of Reconstruction. Then we've dealt with Jim Crow. We dealt with the death of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We saw the freedom, uh, we saw the freedom riders. We saw the foot soldiers. We have seen in the course of our history, African Americans for the last 397 years do all they can to make America great. It's not a question to make America great again, is what we have always done. There's been no one more patriotic than African Americans because we fought for this country when the country did not love us. This president, not, one's, not one hint of scandal, in the past eight years. 10 days left in his presidency. And what this means is that uh, he has represented the best of what it means to be African-American in this nation. So for any of you out there, don't shed tears. What you should be saying is, what's next? You should be saying, I'm not satisfied. You should be saying that what's important for us is to continue to tell our story, to tell the next generation that you too can be a difference maker because he made it possible, because she made it possible, because our history makers, our pioneers made it possible. When we reflect on the last eight years, we should not somehow think that only happened once in American history. The fact of the matter is we can do this again. That means that you must make sure every single person is out there registered to vote. Every single person is eligible to vote. Because we shed tears seeing President Barack Obama leave, but we shed tears over Trayvon Martin in the past eight years, Michael Brown in the last eight years, Freddie Gray in the last eight years, Rakia Boyd in the last eight years, Ayanna Jones in the last eight years. We must understand that our fight continues. It was Frederick Douglass who said, point blank, agitate, 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 power could cease nothing without a demand. We've not witnessed an African-American holding the most powerful position in the world. But what that means is our fight continues. You do not give up. You do not stop fighting. You continue this battle. That's what it means to be African American. I'm Roland Martin. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. right here on TV One.